and then you just hit this button and leave it in your cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> It smells like someone's with smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that is foul. This is Chemical Guy's fresh fade that you can pick up at any AutoZone store that provides a barbershop scent and odor eliminator. And these are Little Trees air fresheners that you can get from really any 99 cent store and probably the most common one you've seen around. And this is a one-time use air freshener that is commonly seen as you press one button, you let it explode in your car for about 15 minutes, and it supposedly holds the scent for about a week and it gets rid of the odor. And then we also picked up uh, the scent bomb from the dollar section. I don't know if this is gonna smell good or terrible, but we're gonna test these out. So why are we testing this? Well, have you ever gotten into a friend's car and thought, wow, this smells? I mean, everybody thinks their car smells fine or it doesn't have a scent at all, but a lot of people don't realize that their car has a scent to it. Other people can smell it, but you as the driver can't because you've probably got a nose bond to it by now. That's where you'll see people hang up little trees and try and cover the odor, but they don't always last and they don't always smell the best. So we're gonna test this under the following criteria. How easy it is to use, do the scent stay around, and what has the cleanest smell? Let's get started. With the exclusion of the one-time use, we're gonna sample each one of these and see which one matches the smell. I think to start us off, the one that you know most people know about, black ice. It's, Basically, it's like the most common one that you'll most see. Most common one you'll see. And the smell, you definitely know the smell. Is you. there a way to activate these? Oh, you're supposed to like slowly open it. I didn't know that. Huh, well, huh. I mean, I could smell that. Yeah, I was about to say, that, <laughs> that fragrance is super strong. That one actually smells really good. Um, I feel like this is the one that everybody goes to because the smell is really good. So the, the best smelling ones we'll put on the green pile and then the worst smelling ones will be in the red pile over there. Next one is the new car. Everybody likes new car smell, but I personally think that they try and match it way too well and it just never works. Here. Oh my God, that, that smells like an old person car. Does it? <laughs> oh my God, that is vile. Oh, oh. That is terrible. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's going in the yeah. would not use pile. So next one we have is Royal Pine. Um, I like tree scented stuff, so I feel like this one may be good. I, ho I hope it's not bad. It? Um, it's it's not horrible. Um, I don't know. It's it's definitely more fresh. I would say it's not. Doesn't smell like a tree. It kind of smells like it, this is a really bad idea to get this. I, in my opinion, I think it smells like vodka. I, would, I personally wouldn't keep it in my car either. I, I would not keep it in my car either, so we're going to put it up this side there. Summer linen. Summer sum, summer linen? It smells like Febreze fabric freshener. I think this actually smells really good. Really? Oh, no, this smells good. This is definitely nice. This is like when you, t you know, clean clothes smell, I yeah. would say. It, it, it definitely goes for a full, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, I, this is definitely a wood run, wood run in my car. So next we have True North. It smells like cheap cologne. I don't know. It's like if I got into somebody's car and it smelled like that, I wouldn't complain. Yeah. But it's not something I'd personally We'll put, we'll put it in the middle. We'll put yeah. it in the maybe. In the yellow section. In, in the situation. Fresh shaven. So if it smells anything like the chemical guys, because I've used that, I use this in my personal vehicle all the time. It's a definite thumbs up already, but we'll see if Little Tree can match this. It smells like candy. It does not smell like a barbershop. It smells like peppermint. It's not bad, but I personally don't find it the greatest. Most so. definitely. So going in the wood mm -hmm. mouth pile. Sunset Beach smells like the beach. Like it. It smells like a Yankee candle. This is really good. Yeah, I like that. Smell for sure would be nice. Keeping that in the green pile. Oh, 100%. All right, rain shine. I don't know how you smell rain shine, but yeah. this smells like really good shampoo. Really? Does <laughs> right. it smell like shampoo? It does definitely <laughs> smell like shampoo. I, th I think it definitely goes. It smells like a fresh shower, like right after you get out of the shower. Definitely. Next we have gold. Like if you were to smell like a like a nut, like a peanut or something like that, or cashew, I don't know. Oh it, yeah, that is foul. Yeah, it's it's like if you dipped your cologne in peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. I'm giving yeah. it a no for my car. It's, it's definitely a no for my car as well. Last one is Supernova. That smells really familiar, but I can't tell you what it smells like exactly. Ooh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What does it smell like? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I would, I would give it a thumbs up. I would give it a thumbs up as well. All right, now the real challenge would stack all these up and you smell them all. Yes, all right, so. <laughs> oh my, the new car smell hits. And it smells like someone's with smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that is foul. Oh, that is foul. Oh my oh, god. So don't stack all the little trees up and put them in your car. That's yeah, not would, not, would <laughs> not recommend. Now, it kind of looks fun, but. For this one, 
I brought in the car mat from the passenger seat of my car. Because the way you apply this, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you put on spray and you spray your uh, car mat. Your mat may be a little wet for like a day or two, but once it dries up, your car will smell fantastic. It usually lasts about like a week and a half, two weeks if you use it generously. All right. This one good. I like it. I per so I haven't smelled this before. You definitely have. Yeah, yeah. It's like a good smell to have. Like I always like if I'm going out on a date, like this is the go-to spray that I always go in my car. There we go. I haven't tried the one time, which we will try very shortly. Mm -hmm. And then this is just I could already tell you this is gonna smell <laughs> terrible. What is it? It's, it's oh, called Hawaiian Blue Scent Bomb. I don't even um, know what that's gonna smell like, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be good knowing that it came from like the cheapest dollar section in like a little plastic bin. Yeah, it looks really bad. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. That, I, I won't I won't abuse it too much. Oh that just hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is foul. That smells like dirty socks. Like literally dirty socks. It's foul. No. Yeah, that, that it. That's like something you get as a joke or like a gag. You yeah. Have to spray in someone's car. It's too sweet. It's, it's super sweet. It's strong. It's too. definitely super strong. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely the worst one. So now that we've tested the smells, we're gonna go in and see how to actually apply each scent to your car, uh, starting with the little tree. So let's go outside. First thing is the little trees, which are probably the easiest to set up. Uh, you literally just take them and then just stretch them over your rear view mirror like this. Um, and then you can just hang them up. I'm gonna hang all of them up because I want my car to smell like absolute dog shit. So, we're gonna go one by one. Now I feel officially like one of those like old people that has like every little tree known to man hanging up. <laughs> So the little trees are kind of self-explanatory with that. You just put them on the mirror and then they just hang there. And then over time, they're supposed to like have the scent fall. I would give this like a one on the easy scale. <laughs> All right, so basically you just take the scent spray, you just spray it twice on the mat, then you lift it up, do the underside, and then you can do it on the front. And then I like to personally yeah. do it in the trunk as well. You lift the trunk up and then just spray it twice in the trunk shut it and then your car will smell like a barbershop i would give this probably a i would give it a 1.5 on the easy scale the right. dookie spray now we got the scent bomb which is supposedly according to the directions on this one it's not crazy hard to apply but we'll find out you take a roll of paper towels you take a few sheets ball it up you're supposed to spray the sheet three times ball that up and then, then you take the roll of paper towels, you ball it up, you shove it in there, and leave it in there for 15 to 20 minutes, and then your car will go back and smell fantastic. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna shut the door, roll the windows up, and see what it smells like in about 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna go in and check how it actually smells. It's actually not too potent as of now. I'll give it that. I think the paper towel is definitely helpful versus what we tried inside where we just sprayed it on the mat. Oh yeah. It's definitely, paper towel definitely smells, but it definitely absorbs like a good chunk of the scent. So it's not, it's not too bad. I, I wouldn't use this, but I would give it like a one and a half on the easy scale just cause you gotta spray it and wait 15 minutes before it like actually takes effect. Uh, but overall scent uh, with ease of use, it's not terrible. All right, so it says to turn on the car. Put the AC on full blast and then you just hit this button and leave it in the cup holder. <laughs> so now we gotta wait like 10 minutes. Full blast and then you just hit this button and leave it in your cup holder. Now, wait, how long do we wait again? Uh, so it said to let it go out for about 10 minutes and then um, after I think 15 minutes of airing out the car, it should smell good, but we're gonna test it out. I mean, actually, I'm really curious. I've seen these online and I've wanted to know what it smelled like, so we're gonna <laughs> test it. All right, it's been about like three minutes and I can already smell it from outside the car with the windows up. This is just, this is gonna be foul. This is gonna be so strong. 
It might smell good, but it's gonna be strong, whatever it is. Definitely. I've never used one of these. <laughs> it's potent. It's super potent. Like, I'm not even, the doors close, windows up, and I can still smell it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's strong. It's definitely strong. That's, that's potent. That is really potent. <laughs> All right, so you guys know Mason. He's my roommate. He just pulled up. Um, I'm gonna have him smell the car after we just shut it off and go through everything. Okay, it doesn't smell that bad. I'm not gonna lie. It does not smell as bad as I thought it would. It smells good. Yeah, it doesn't smell terrible. No. Just reeks. <laughs> In a good way. It's really strong. Oh. I wouldn't say, so the accurate representation of it being a new car definitely does not, you know, enact it, but it's, it smells good. It, you know, I, it's pleasant, it's not overpowering, but you definitely, you definitely know a difference. That's the big thing, you definitely know a difference. All right, that basically sums it up of our full review of all the car scents and deodorizer. Uh, at the top of my description, I have Jacob's channel uh, linked below, so if you want to go check that out, it's at the top of my description. Uh, but like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all so much, and peace out. All righty, so that's basically it for our taste test. <laughs> taste test? I've been smelling way too much... Uh, whatever they are. <laughs> Look, I think I'm high. <laughs>